To one moment he wanted a divorce, the next he was begging to say now, I'm left wondering if, the love thy Tom Disha darves just daily. He says he cares about me, but doesn't love me. And that he's been feeling this way for a while. Now, I've promised myself since years ago that I would never try to make someone stay with me if they don't want to. So, as much as this hurt, I said okay. I cried, he cried. I did ask if he wanted to try couples therapy before divorcing, but he said no. We decided to sort out details in the morning. I grabbed some blankets to sleep on the couch, and he went upstairs to bed. In the midst of my sitting on the couch crying and looking up apartments, what felt like hours later, I hear him get up and come to the living room. He sits down next to me and just says I fucked up so bad. I freeze when I hear this, because I've barely processed the reality of what just happened, and I can already see where he's going next. I ask him to elaborate, and he says he doesn't want a divorce, that he doesn't know why he said that, and he's feeling the most regret he's ever experienced in his life. He says that he realizes he fucked up and I don't have to take him back. At this point, I've experienced so much emotional whiplash that I've completely numbed out. I'd already cried all the tears I could. Now I was just sitting there next to my sobbing husband and I'd take him back, even though I'd barely processed the fact that he'd wanted to divorce him. I told him I wanted couples counseling and for him to get individual therapy, and he agreed. I've asked him about individual therapy in the past, but he never wanted to until now. It's days later now. I've gone through all the stages of being mad at him, depressed that my marriage almost ended, insecure about myself, accepting the reality, feeling love for him feeling numb, cycling through all these emotions over and over again at random. We're searching for a couple's counselor, but a lot of them have wait lists right now. So in the meantime, I just want to know, if anyone has been in a similar situation, does it get better? Does the trust ever come back? I feel like I can't trust him at all now. When he touches me, I freak out sometimes because that's not the comforting feeling I'm used to when he touches me. It's the feeling like he's suffocating me. I want to be here for him and help him through whatever mental shit he's going through. But this has been affecting my work and my school. I left my dream school for him. I can't just keep prioritizing him above everything else when he clearly doesn't do the same for me. And yet until now, he was doing the same for me. He's always been so sweet buying me flowers, making dinner, going out of his way to make time for us. And before you scream abuse, please know I've been in abusive relationships before, and they felt nothing like this. He's not like those guys. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. I just don't know how we can recover. Any advice about how to get through this would be appreciated. Update. One year ago, I, 24F, made a post asking for advice on how to continue with my relationship after my, now ex, husband, 26M, betrayed my trust by telling me he wanted a divorce out of the blue and then changing his mind just a couple hours later. As stated above, he is now my ex. Those of you who said that he would repeat the same behavior again, you were right. On New Year's Day 2024, he said he wanted a divorce, packed a bag and left to a motel, then came back hours later. I'll admit, I was a wreck that day. I asked him if this was just going to be like last time, and he said no. I asked him if he felt mentally okay, and he said he felt fine. I got on my knees and begged this man to stay. Not my proudest moment, and he looked at me with empty, vacant eyes and just left. I was in tears for a couple hours, but then I opened this app to try to distract myself and saw he had made a, now deleted please don't go looking for his account, post on the divorce subreddit about how he left me and felt bad, but didn't regret it. Then I went from depressed to furious. I called my landlord and told him that I was getting a divorce and needed his help in changing the locks. My landlord was very understanding and helped me do so. A few hours later, I heard a knock on the door, and when I opened it, my ex-husband was standing there. I didn't even get a chance to tell him to leave because he immediately collapsed into my arms sobbing. The first coherent words to come out of his mouth were, you're not going to take me back, are you? Read it. I would love to say that I rejected him right then, but I didn't. Even after all of this, I was still hooked into his web of manipulation. So instead I sat down with him and had a long discussion of how much he hurt me, how in the middle of working to rebuild the trust that had been broken between us he completely destroyed any progress that had been made and found a way to make that distrust even worse. So I don't remember the details of what he said, but he always knew what to say to get me to feel sorry for him. So then the night ended with me saying I would take him back. He was smiling, saying he'd never felt so hopeful. He wrote me a love poem that night for the first time in years. And meanwhile, I had never felt so broken, and I told him that after he said he felt so hopeful, she shrugged it off and said I'd feel better in the morning. I did not, in fact, feel better in the morning. During the next few days, while I was trying to pick myself back up, study for finals, and continue going to work as if nothing was wrong, he went back and forth every day on whether or not he loved me, whether or not he wanted to be married to me. He said he thought he loved the idea of being a husband more than he loved me. So my last draw was when I reached out to one of his childhood friends, who I had interacted with a few times and though I could trust to be honest with me, and asked him if he had ever noticed any red flags in my ex-husband's behavior in his past relationships or behavior towards women in general. So this friend assured me that he had never noticed anything of the sort. 
I thanked him and asked if he could please not tell ex-husband. I asked that since I was afraid of what he might do. When my ex-husband came home from work that day, I could immediately tell he knew. He opened the front door so forcefully. He sat down on the couch next to me, told me he knew, and said in a low and almost growling tone of voice, but I know you didn't mean any harm by it. I was frozen in fear and couldn't say anything, but then he grabbed my face and turned my head to look at him, and his eyes looked so cold, and he said again, you didn't mean any harm by it, right? I nodded and forced myself to answer right. And I knew in that moment this man would kill me if I didn't find a way out of this relationship. If I didn't kill myself first with how bad my mental health was getting after dealing with him insulting and belittling me day after day. I was genuinely starting to spiral into a place I hadn't been to in years. The next day while he was at work I packed a bag, wrote a note telling him I'm leaving and that I want his stuff out of the house when I get back, left the note on the counter with my ring and spent the night at my mom's. It is an uncontested divorce, filing by mail, and should be finalized in April. I started the paperwork at my mom's house that first night of separation. Since ending my relationship, I have gone to therapy and realized just how abusive and manipulative my ex-husband was. I also understand how broken he is, but being mentally unwell is not an excuse for abusive behavior. So what he did to me was abuse, and I'm not afraid to say that anymore. I have reconnected with old friends and made new ones. I have started doing things that I love again, things he never wanted me to do like wearing red lipstick or eating mint-flavored things and going to concerts. I've realized I never want to be married again. I've discovered my polyamorous identity and have begun to explore this side of myself. I have plans to move out of my hated hometown that he had dragged me back to. I feel so much more joy, freedom, and self-love than I ever did when I was in a relationship with my ex-husband. I won't be using this account anymore after this, as I have no need to. But I want to thank this community and the other Reddit subs that I've participated in. If I had never made my original post, I don't think I would have realized just how awfully my ex-husband treated me. Thanks to the support of hundreds of voices telling me I deserved better, I realized how true that statement was. I deserve better and now I have better. I also want this update to be a beacon of hope to anyone who has found themselves in a similarly emotionally slash verbally abusive situation. Life is so much better when you leave. There is hope, there is light on the other side of the pain. Thank you again Reddit. I am finally free.